Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode of Actor Talk, I am going to be continuing my series in how to start a career in acting. Today we're talking about headshots, so let's jump in. Headshots are very, very important for the actor. It's your calling card for agents and casting directors. It's the first thing they see when they open up that email or what have you. It's how you grab their attention. So headshots are critical. They need to look great. So, let's talk about it a little bit. So, when it comes to headshots, first thing you need to do is find a photographer. How do we do that? Well, Google search. Go on Google and search acting headshot photographer. You can even add an acting headshot photographer near me. If you live in a big city like Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, Nashville, Atlanta, um, Austin, any of those places, you are guaranteed to find an acting headshot photographer. Even in smaller communities, there are likely to be acting headshot photographers as long as you're close enough to a city where a good amount of movies or television or whatever is made. Now, you can also go with recommendations from friends in the industry. If you know anybody who works in the acting or entertainment business, you can ask them who they went to if you both live in the same area and then you can kind of find out from them who they recommend and you can go about it that way. Here, this is really important. Go with a pro, not with a friend who does photography or, or a portrait photographer. And here's why. Each market for the entertainment business, and a market I mean Los Angeles is a market, New York is a market, Chicago is a market, Nashville is a market, Atlanta is a market, and so on. They're all different markets, they all have different specialties, they all have different aspects, different feels to them. And an acting headshot photographer knows the market in and out. They know what type of headshots gets the attention of the particular agent or casting directors in that market. They are not gonna know other markets that well. But if you're in a certain market, I'm in Chicago, so because I'm in the Chicago market, I want to be sure that that my headshots fit in in the sense that they fit in with the look of the market, the feel of the market, not that they look like every other headshot because the idea is you want your headshot to stand out. You want it to look like you but stand out and catch their eye. But it also has to kind of fit within the market. That's why you want to go with a headshot, uh, an acting headshot photographer and not just a photographer because they actually study the market. They know what's what's going on. All right, so next, talk with them on the phone or check out their frequently asked questions section on their website. Before you book a headshot photographer, you definitely want to get to know them a little bit. You wanna find out what their policies are. You wanna find out kind of what the shoot's gonna look like and they usually break that down for you quite clear, quite clearly. And you wanna kind of see if you gel with that particular photographer because you want to be comfortable in front of the camera. If you're getting headshots done, you want to look your best. And that means being comfortable with the photographer. If you're not comfortable with the photographer, if you don't get along well, if you just kind of feel awkward around them or uncomfortable around them, that's going to show up in your photos and it's going to really be detrimental to your headshot. So you want to be comfortable with the headshot photographer. The shoot. Bring several clothing options to choose from. This is important because some things may look good on you or may look decent on camera in the sense that if you send them pictures or you say, oh yeah, I think I know what would work and you bring them one thing and they're like, oh, that doesn't go well with your eyes. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We need to get something else. Then you're gonna run into some problems. So. One good rule of thumb is you want the clothing you're wearing to bring out your eyes. So finding, for, I have blue eyes, for example. So wearing blue is always a good thing for me for headshots. It really helps my eyes stand out. So going with clothing that matches your eye color is generally a good idea. You don't have to follow that, but it's generally a good place to start when you're trying to figure out the clothing you want to bring. But bring several options so that way the photographer can look at them you can try them on, they can do a test shot or whatever and go, That's, that works, or they can say, eh, let's go with something else. So bring several clothing options. Go with solid colors rather than patterns. 
patterns, lettering on the shirts, those things distract from your face. You want the focus to be on your face, especially your eyes. So pick plain shirts that don't have any sort of logos on them or patterns that will distract the viewer from looking at your face. Layering is always a good idea, but not necessary. So layering is where you have a shirt on and you put like maybe a light jacket on or something else. You have a couple different layers going. It can add a lot of depth and a lot of character to the headshot, but again, it's not necessary. Sometimes depending on what you're wearing in layers can be distracting again. So you want to be very picky in your choice, but always, always, always remember trying to draw attention to your face, to your eyes, and don't let anything else distract from that. Come with your hair and makeup already done, unless you've hired a hair and makeup artist for the shoot. So generally speaking, guys, you don't really need to worry about makeup too much. Just make sure that you look really good, presentable. Women, basic makeup, usually they, they usually don't say do a lot of extra stuff. They just say you're, you're base makeup, whatever they call it. And then do you come with your hair ready to go. Now you can hire a headshot or a, you can hire a, a makeup artist and, and hairstylist to come in and do everything for you before the shoot. And oftentimes photographers are set up with the hair and makeup artist. So that way they can say, okay, so-and-so I work with them a lot. They're really good. I recommend them. And because we got a deal worked out, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than whatever. So that's a, that's a good thing to do too if you want to really get, you know, go a little more expensive and, and get that, you can do that. Speaking of which, expenses. Expect to spend $300 to $500 for headshots. This is just a figure I came up with based off of what I've seen in this area. Each market is going to be a little bit different, but from what I've seen, 300 to 500 is a safe estimate of what you can expect to spend. There may be photographers who charge less, and that's great. Some may charge even more. There's a lot of different factors. A lot of it is how many looks you're doing. That's how many different clothing changes you're doing with the headshots. How many finished, edited photos you're getting with it. A lot of different factors go into this. So looking into that and figuring out what you think you need to do will help you determine what the cost is going to be, but between $300 and $500 is, I would say, average. You may find cheaper photographers, but you usually get what you pay for. This is all true about anything, really. You may find a headshot photographer who is charges 100 bucks for two looks. They may not turn out that well. I'm not saying that they're not a great photographer, but usually if they're less expensive, they're probably not the top of the line or even middle of the line photographers. So expect to pay between 300 and 500 and you're likely gonna get a really good photographer. And again, do your research, review them, find out what you can, make sure you you mesh with them before you hire them and then and put all that money into it. And like I said, hair and makeup artists will be an additional cost, so you wanna take that into account as you're figuring out your budget for your headshots. You will typically receive 100 or so unfinished digital copies and two to three finished photos depending on the bundle you purchased. So you'll get usually uh, access, an access code to a website, to the photographer's website, which will have all of the unedited photos on there. And you can look through and you can go, I like this one. Let's say they said you get three, with the bundle you get three, finished edited photos in the total cost of uh, the shoot itself. So you look through and you go, okay, these are the three that I really, really like. And you tell them and then they go and they edit it. And so they'll do some Photoshopping, nothing crazy, but they'll like get rid of stray hairs and things like that to make you just look really, really nice. You know, just, just not changing how you look other than just taking away little blemishes here and there. And that's going to be a really good thing, of course. Now, you get two to three, let's just say, uh, with that, but then you also have these hundred plus photos that are yours to look at and go, well, you know, I like this one and this one and this one as well. So I got a total of six I really like and would love to have as edited photos. They will edit those for you at an additional cost per photo. So they, it may be $15 
per photo. I don't, it depends on the photographer, but let's just say 15. So you'll be spending an extra $15 per photo for any other ones that you want edited beyond the ones you paid for with the bundle. So take that into consideration as well as you're considering that. And I would say you don't want too many edited photos for your headshot that's going to be going out with your resume. You, you want to have one or two, usually like a dramatic look and a commercial look. And that's about it that you want to be sending out. You, want, you don't want to have like three dramatic looks and three commercial looks to be sending out. I would stick to one of each typically. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Be sure to share this video with anyone you know who is looking to get into acting. It's going to be really, really important. This whole series really will be really helpful for them if they're trying to get into acting. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that way you get word whenever I send out a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, keep living truthfully.